This kit will not only give you the look of a level truck, but it will also allow you to install larger wheels and tires without sacrificing the OE ride quality of the vehicle. All of this can be accomplished in a few hours and for under $200, with no special tools required. When installing this kit, please be sure to use the proper tools and safety equipment for the job. Failure to do so may result in injury to you or others. This video is intended to be used as a supplement to the installation instructions included with the kit. Always consult the printed instructions for detailed installation steps. Start by removing the vehicle's wheel. In this video, we will be working on the passenger side of this vehicle. Once the wheel is removed, free the ABS wire from the upper control arm, then disconnect the ABS connector located on the side of the strut assembly. Loosen the nut on the top of the sway bar end link and remove the bolt and sleeve. Loosen the nut at the bottom of the tie rod end. Using a mallet, strike the casting to free the tie rod end from inside the casting. Make sure to only strike the casting itself. Remove the nut and swing the tie rod end out of the way. Place a jack under the lower control arm to support the suspension during disassembly. Using a pry bar to maintain pressure, remove the nut holding the upper control arm to the spindle. Gently release the tension on the pry bar to remove the upper control arm from the spindle. From inside the engine bay, remove the three nuts holding the top of the strut tower to the frame. Leave one nut loosely threaded on one of the studs to prevent the strut assembly from falling. Remove the bolts holding the bottom of the strut to the lower control arm. Lower the jack to give the strut assembly clearance to be removed from the vehicle. While supporting the strut assembly, remove the nut on the top of the strut and maneuver the strut assembly out of the vehicle. For the following steps, it may be helpful to place the strut assembly in a vise. Shop towels can be used to pad the coils to prevent damage. Thread the two supplied free-running hex nuts onto one of the studs. Thread them down until they are three quarters of an inch above the top of the strut mount. Using a wrench, lock the nuts in place. Using a cutoff tool, remove the remainder of the stud. Remove the hex nuts from the stud. Apply the included thread locking compound to the threads of the stud. Thread a strut extender onto the trimmed stud and firmly tighten to the top of the strut mount. Repeat these steps for the remaining studs. Place the vibration isolating spacer over the strut extenders. At this point you are ready to reinstall the strut assembly into the vehicle. Place the modified strut assembly back into the vehicle, top mount first. Loosely install the bolts through the lower control arm and into the bottom of the strut. Place the supplied washers and lock nuts onto the strut extenders. Tighten the top nuts to 35 foot-pounds of torque and the bolts on the bottom of the strut to 38 foot-pounds of torque. Do not use air tools for either step. Place the tie rod end back into the spindle and install the nut. Using a pry bar to apply pressure, tighten the nut securely. Install the sleeve and bolt to the sway bar end link and tighten the nut. Reconnect the ABS connection and secure the ABS wire to the upper control arm. At this point, Repeat the process to the other side of the vehicle. 